What's up folks today? I wanted to talk to you real quick about determining your dream, your one love or your purpose in life, leaving a, behind a legacy, your dream, purpose, legacy. Why are you here? Why do you get up in the morning? What is it you want to be? Uh, what is your heart's desire in life? Uh, I, I didn't find out about this kind of stuff until I was in my about 50 years old. So if you're younger and you're still trying to figure out what you want to be in life, don't worry about it. You got plenty of time. So we know that if we don't know uh, where we're going, okay, uh, any direction will do. And we might eventually get to our destination, but we're going to hit a lot of bumps. We're going to take uh, uh, a lot of bad roads along the way, and we're going to learn a lot of lessons. But if we have some sort of a roadmap to our goal, we'll get there quicker. <clears throat> this is why we determine what our dream and purpose is. No direction equals stress, wealth and health issues, okay, relationship issues, spiritual deficiencies. Uh, it's not only part of the cause, but it, it can get worse as time goes on when you lose connection with uh, the natural world, with the earth, being outside with nature and whatnot, whatever you choose to call spirit. So this is all about human potential and self-realization. Uh, for instance, the Wright brothers, they were told right up until the time that they actually flew that it was not possible and it wasn't going to happen. And then it happened. They stayed with it. They were focused. They knew why. They had a why that was stronger than anything that was going to get in their way. When you have a strong enough purpose and a big enough dream, there's no illness, crisis, people, situations that are getting going to get in the way of you getting to your goal. So things we have to watch out for, self-sabotage, all right, alcohol, drugs, food, relationships, media. There's a lot of things out there that your subconscious mind is scanning at 11 million bytes per second, whereas our conscious mind is about on a good day, about 150 bytes per second. So you can see the disparity in the amount of information that's downloaded by your subconscious to protect you. So there's nothing wrong with what's going on. But once you become aware of this, okay, and that's a whole nother discussion, but uh, you got to be aware of self-sabotaging behavior. All right, so your dream, your goal, it must be uh, authentic. It must be your own. Uh, for instance, when a, uh, a young person uh, is, is forced by their parents to follow in their footsteps to become a lawyer or a doctor or an accountant, and that person becomes, they might become successful and wealthy, but they become unhealthy and miserable. We all know some people like this. It's just as bad as not having a dream at all, is to live someone else's dream. You have one within you. You know this. So you have where you're at now. And here we have our goal or our dream where we want to be. This causes a tension. That's the, the wind that fills your sail in the morning that gets you up out of bed is to have that goal. It will pull you towards that goal. And along the way, that tension creates the wisdom, those lessons learned along the way of mastering whatever your dream is. So how do we get there? There's a lot of ways you can figure this out. Um, there's a lot of questions you can ask yourself. You can go on Google or on the internet and just enter a search for uh, questions for determining my purpose. And you'll, you'll get hundreds and hundreds of questions. Print some of those out. Start writing those down. Answer those hundred questions and start seeing where there's similarities in those questions and formulating further out. Honing that down, refining it, distilling it. What's your heart's desire? Uh, do, do you want a family? Uh, do you want to travel? Do you want to write? What are these things that you would do uh, uh, um, that, that really turn you on, that really make you feel good? If you can't tune into that, what's your nightmare? What's your absolute worst case scenario? And for most people, that's dying broke, uh, uh, unhealthy, and alone. You know, that's pretty horrible, right? So when we can start to formulate backwards, we can back our way out of that. 
We can also do, uh, we can write our eulogy. What would we want people to say at our funeral uh, when we die? What do we want on our tombstone? What do we want our tombstone to say? Another good exercise is the lottery. Let's just say you won the Powerball. What is it up to you sometimes now? You have $500 million. What would you do with your time? Uh, what kind of things would you do with your time uh, uh, now that you didn't have to worry about money? Another good exercise is the Ikigai. It's a Japanese uh, exercise for figuring out what one's uh, role uh, in life is or purpose. And that is a combination of four things. What you love, what the world needs, can you be paid for it, and are you good at it? So uh, look up Ikigai also. There's a uh, beautiful diagram that shows how all that forms together into your purpose. From these exercises, and I would do all of them, you can do them in any order you want and then come back to any ones you didn't get done. Start working on an I am statement. I am whatever these things are. Uh, I am well-respected, wealthy, healthy. I am a, a, a traveling a writer, uh, things like this, whatever that goal ends up being. Write these things down, put them on your refrigerator, print them out on one sheet of paper so they're big enough so you can see them every day. You can put them on a three by five card, stick them on your mirror in the bathroom. You see that every morning, the first, first thing you do when you get up. Speak it into existence and write it down, and this helps crystallize that. When you speak these words and you write them down, the universe begins to create the situation for your dream and your purpose to start happening. The people, the places, the resources will begin to appear in your life, and it will be fantastic because you won't know where that was coming from, and then it'll hit you. So just remember, this takes, change takes energy and commitment. So we have to talk about our uh, uh, choices that we make. Once we determine what our dream and our purpose is, all of our decisions in life need to be pointed in that way. What kind of food do I need to eat to get to my dream? What kind of people do I need to surround myself with? What kind of body movement do I need to get? What kind of rest do I need to get? What kind of things do I need to let into my eyes? Uh, reading, too much screen time. What kind of people am I going to hang around with? Uh, I believe I already said that. So uh, your why, <clears throat> that goal, that why, uh, write down you know, why you want those things. All right, That's your emotional driver. Once you put an emotion behind that, thought that idea that begins to crystallize these things and this is also this is part of the hero's journey uh, there's a lot of books out there joseph campbell has one hero of a thousand faces there's movies a lot of movies out there based on this um i want to say archetype a warrior hero's journey okay everybody needs to take that your soul chose this vessel to go down that path this path, the way, the hero's journey. Sometimes you're going to be way over here or over here, but we want to ultimately hit that Tao, the middle way. Now you have the greatest tool is the awareness. Now you know I control what my dream and purpose is. It has to be authentic. This is part of the hero's journey, self-realization, human potential. Be aware of self-sabotage, control from the media, television, family members and friends are going to be the first ones to break you, bring you down into the crab bucket again. Uh, in Australia, they call it the tall poppy syndrome. Anytime one of the poppies starts to grow taller than the other ones, they come along and chop them right down. Look into how they treat Australian sports figures. It's horrible. I would not want to be an athlete in Australia. Anyway. I hope you learned something today. If you like this kind of stuff, keep following me, direct message me, comment on this, however you're seeing it, get in touch with me, let me know what's up, and uh, that's it. Peace, love you, and we'll talk soon.